Morning, guys. Happy Friday. Um, so, ready to go with Pilates in about four minutes. So, get yourselves ready, find yourself a little space, and we will get started. Remember, look at your pyjamas for Monday's class. Christmas theme next week, so any photos, send them in. If not, when we get back to normal classes, I want proof. So, make sure on Monday you take photos. Okay, about three minutes now. So, get yourself sorted and we'll get started. Okay guys, good morning. Um, let's get started with the Pilates class. So find yourself on your mat. Just check out my room. Can you see my hands? Okay, so feet directly underneath your hips then. Let's start with a postural check as always. So feet underneath the hips and then just lift your toes away from the mat. Spread them nice and wide. Maybe spread those toes out. And then rock onto the toes. Lift the heels. Rock back down, lift the toes and spread them back onto the toes. And then just start to decrease that range of movement. So that rock in motion, make it smaller and smaller. And then eventually, stopping and feeling really grounded with your mat. Line your knees up with your second toe and keep your knees nice and soft. Place one hand on the front of your body, one hand on the back. Keep your upper body still. Just rock your pelvis forward and then rock your pelvis back. Forward and back. So just start to decrease that range of movement like we did with the feet. And then eventually when you do come to a stop, you should feel your tailbone slip the tucks under. Lift your chest, roll your shoulders up, back and down, place them into the little pockets in the back. Middle finger in line with seam on your trousers. And then from there, lift your chin to pad level. So that's your postural check position. 
Let's now focus on engagement of our core muscles. So imagine you have a corset or a belt, and you're going to pull all the way in to number 10. So you're going to pull it as tightly as you possibly can. Okay, so take a breath in through the nose, pull everything in, all the way in, lightly squeezing your bottom as well, squeeze everything, and then breathe out through your mouth. And then pull even tighter if you can as you breathe in. So you'll probably find that you just cannot hold that, so let it go. Now this time, we we'll do exactly the same, but I want you to pull to number five, so just half the contraction that you had before. So breathe in again, engage all those core muscles, pulling them in, squeezing the bottom, and then breathe out through the mouth. Breathe back in through the nose, and back out through the mouth. And you'll probably be able to hold this for a few breaths, and then again it will just get too much, so just let go. This time I should just pull to number three. So we breathe in again through the nose, we engage those core muscles, slightly squeezing our bottoms, shoulders relaxing down, and then breathe out. Breathing in again through the nose, and back out through the mouth. And you should be able to maintain this. So this, when I say postural check, engagement of core, this is what I'm looking for, this nice tension of number three. Now let's focus on our breath. If you want to, you can bring your fingers up, place them in your intercostal muscles, so that's the little gaps between your ribs. Just line your fingers up with those gaps. Or if you're quite happy with your hands down by your side, just place them down by your side. So from here, breathe in through the nose. Feel your ribs lift and expand. And then as you breathe out, feel those ribs come in and down. So breathe in again. And then breathe out. Now what I want you to focus on this time is nothing coming to your belly, so we've got no belly breathing. So breathe in and breathe out. Contraction at number three, and all the breath here. So do a couple more breaths. And then just release. Okay, so now let's warm up the body. So I'll try and introduce some more thoracic breathing as we go through our workout today. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. It's a little bit right. It's a bit better. Okay, so let's start with the neck as always. So breathing in, engaging the core. As you breathe out, just drop the head to the side. Feel stretch through the neck, and then breathe in and bring it to the centre. Let's do the same on the other side. So drop it over, and bring it up. This time hold for breath. So breathe out. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, just try and let it relax a little further. Feel a little bit more of a stretch, and then breathe in and come to centre. Same on the other side, so breathe out. Breathe in. Now you might find one side tighter than the other. Breathe out again, and then breathe in. This time, drop your chin forward. Breathe out, and breathe in as you come back up. Still a bit light, but it's maybe just me. Breathe out, and breathe in. So this time we're going to turn our heads to the right. So take a breath in, turn your head to the right, and then come back to the centre as you breathe in, and then breathe out to the left. So keep your shoulders still. Breathe in, try and go a little further as you breathe out this time. Breathe in centre, and breathe out to the left to center. So let's warm the shoulders. So breathe in, pull up, breathe out, push down. Breathe in, pull up, breathe out, push down. Now you can move to rotation if you want. So breathe in, lift up, and as you breathe out, squeeze the shoulder blades together and roll your shoulders down. Breathe in to pull up, breathe out to roll down. Now if you want more, bring the hands to the shoulders, breathe in, draw with the elbow and breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. More still, full circle. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Back to a shrug. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Now roll forward. So we breathe in to lift. We breathe out. Squeeze down and round. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hands to shoulders if you want more. Drop the elbows. Breathe in and breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Is your core at number three? Full circle, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Bring the hands to the shoulders, now keep your hips forward like headlights. Breathe in, 
And then breathe out and rotate to the right. Breathe in as you come to the center. And then breathe out as you go to the left. Breathe in to the center. Now breathe out to the right. Tremble a little further. Breathe into the center. Don't let those hips move. Breathe out. And breathe in. Hands down. Let's tilt to the side. So breathe in. Breathe out. Slide towards the knee. Breathe in. Come up. Breathe out. The other way. Breathe in. This time hold for a breath. So breathe out. Breathe in. So squeeze bottom. Engage the core a little more. Breathe out and try and slide a little bit deeper. Breathe out and come up. Other side. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out a little deeper, and breathe in as we come up. If you want more, add an arm. So we breathe out as we come over, we breathe in, engage the core a little more, roll that top shoulder, and then breathe out and try and come a little deeper. Breathe in and swap sides. Breathe out, come over, breathe in, roll shoulder, breathe out a little deeper, and breathe in and come bind. Well done. Okay, so take a breath in, bring the hands up, breathe out and just swing down. Nice and easy. Breathe in, reach tall, breathe out. So release the head, neck and shoulders. Just let the body swing and relax. One more. Okay, bring those hands back down. So let's do some balance work and start an engagement of the core. So switch your weight over onto that right foot. Bring your left foot onto the tippy toe. Just start by rotating the ankle and then make it slightly bigger, bring in the knee and even bigger, bring in that hip and then change direction. And then let's switch the weight once we've done a postural check and do the same on the other side. So little one to start with, ankle, bring in the knee, bring in the hip. We've got bits of cracking going on here. Other side. And then reset your position. Okay, so let's do a little bit of balance and a little bit more of a thoracic breathing. So take a breath in, engage in the core, shifting the weight onto that right foot, left foot onto tippy toe. As you breathe out, just lift your knee. Now, no higher than your hip. And if you prefer, you can keep that big toe on the floor or anywhere in between is good. All right. So from here, find a fixed spot, now either on the floor or on your wall, it's up to you. Spread the toes of that standing foot so you've got a nice firm base. And then from there, make sure your core is still at number three. Focus on that spot you've chosen and breathe in. Breathe into those ribs, breathing out, making sure the breath is away from your belly. Give me two more breaths. And on your next out breath, place that foot down. Reset your postural position and let's do exactly the same on the other side. So breathe in, engage core, shifting weight, foot to tippy toe, breathe out, bring the knee up. Again, no higher than your hip, big toe on the floor and anywhere in between is great. Spread the foot so the toes are nice and wide and then find your fixed spot, whether it's on the floor or on your wall. Make sure your core is still at number three. And then let's focus on where that breath is going. So we want it in the ribs. So breathing in and breathing out. Is it staying away from your belly? Two more then guys. Next out breath, place that foot down. Okay. I just had a thought of somebody standing balance and the cup of tea in their hands there. I hope you're not. Okay, so we are going to do a little bit more warm up of the hip, a little bit more mobility. So take a breath in, engage the core, breathe out and lift that knee again. Now as you breathe in, extend the leg out and then as you breathe out, draw a circle and come back in. So breathe in to go forward and then draw a half circle as you breathe out and then come back to the center. Now you can keep your foot off the floor the whole time or you can keep your big toe on the floor or even put your foot down between each cycle, it's your choice. So let's do five on this side, reverse it and then we'll do the same on the other side. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, come forward. 
Breathe out and go round. Breathe in, breathe out. So really engage that core. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeezing with your bottom also. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's reverse it. So breathe in, breathe out. Now try not to tip forward. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more. Breathe in and breathe out. Well done. Reset your position. Sat the same on the other side. So breathe in. Shift the weight. Tip your toe. Breathe out. Lift the knee up. Breathe in. Extend it out. Tip your toe on the floor if you wish. Breathe out and come round. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. I'm not good on this side. Breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in, and breathe out. Reverse it. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in, and breathe out. Well done. Okay, so let's start on our workout now. So we're going to start the roll up and roll down. So stand up, end of your mat, mat in front of you. Posture position. And then let's begin. So we take a breath in. We tuck the chin. We breathe out. We roll the head, release the shoulders and the arms, and then roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way down to where it's good for us this morning. We then take a breath in, we lift our bellies, we release our head, neck and shoulders like a rag doll, and then we breathe out, coming all the way up, unwinding vertebrae by vertebrae, shoulder blades into the little pockets and chin to parallel. Breathe in again, engage core, tuck chin, breathe out, roll the head, release the shoulders and the arms, keep winding down, breathing out. Breathe in at the bottom, lift your belly, release your head, neck and shoulders. Breathe out and come up. Shoulder blades to pockets, chin to parallel. Breathe in, tuck chin, roll head, release shoulders. Keep winding down. Now see if your body will let you go further. Don't force it, just go to where's natural. Breathe in again, lift your belly. Release the head, neck and shoulders even further, and then unwind. Breathing out. Breathe in. Breathe out. A little further still if your body will allow. Breathe in. Breathe out. And just one more, but we stay down. So breathe in, tuck chin, roll shoulders, unwind, breathing out, all the way down. Bend your knees a lot to get the hands onto the floor, and then walk onto your knees, and then all the way forward. So bring yourself down completely flat. Okay, so from here, bring your elbows out level with your shoulders. Your forearms 90 degrees from there, your palms flat on the floor. Put your forehead on the floor and tuck your chin. Take a breath in and lift your belly and squeeze your bum. So pull your belly button away from the mat. As you breathe out, lift your chest. Keep your neck and neck side and your forearms on the floor. Take a breath in and pull your belly button even higher into your spine. Breathe out and slowly with control, using your core muscles, bring yourself back down to your mat. Let's do it again. Breathe in, lift belly, squeeze bump. Breathe out, lift the chest, forearms, swing down. Breathe in, lift that belly button higher. And then breathe out and come down. If you want more, keep your elbows where they are, but turn your hands in towards your face. Now from here, take a breath in, lift your belly, squeeze bump. Breathe out and lift up. Now, if you turn your hands in, your forearms can come away from the mat to which you speak. 
Take your breath then, lift that belly even higher, squeeze your bum even more, and then just breathe out, you slowly come down. Make sure you're using your core muscles though, and not your arms. They are there purely for support, so not to do the work. Breathe in, lift the belly, squeeze bum. Breathe out and lift that chest again. Keep your neck in line with your spine. Breathe in at the top, pull that belly button higher into the spine. Breathe out and come down with control all the way. Last time, breathe in, lift out the squeeze up, breathe out and lift. Breathe in and breathe out. Take the hand straight over your head. Again, tuck the chin, forehead down. Breathe in, lift your belly, squeeze your bum. And as you breathe out this time, lift your legs. Now keep them completely straight. So your thighs might stay on the mat. Breathe in, lift your belly button further away from the mat still. And then breathe out and lower those legs with control. Breathe in, lift belly, squeeze bum. Breathe out and lift legs. Now you might get your thighs off the mat. Breathe in, lift your belly, squeeze your bum. Breathe out, come down. Breathe in, lift belly, squeeze up. Breathe out, lift the legs. Breathe in, lift the belly. Breathe out, lower. Breathe in, lift belly, squeeze up. Breathe out, lift legs. Breathe in, lift belly. Breathe out, lower legs. Okay, so we are going to combine those two moves together. Okay? I will do arms and then legs, and then we have the option to do both at the same time, but only if you want to, okay? So just do what's good for you. So everyone, pull your arms back to the position. Breathe in, lift your belly, squeeze up, breathe out and lift your chest. Breathe in, lift the belly higher, and then breathe out and come down. Now, as you breathe in, reach your arms forward as well as lifting your belly, squeezing your butt. Breathe out and lift your legs. Breathe in, lift your belly again, squeeze your butt more. And breathe out and lower your legs. Breathe in, pull your arms back, lift belly, squeeze your butt. Breathe out, lift your chest, and if you want, lift your legs. Breathe in, lift your belly. Breathe out and lower your chest and legs if you lifted them. Breathe in, extend your arms. Breathe out, lift your legs. And if you want, lift your chest. Breathe in, lift your belly higher. Breathe out, lower your legs and chest if it was lifted. Breathe in, pull your arms back. Breathe out, lift your chest and legs if you wish. Breathe in, lift your belly higher and squeeze one more. Breathe out, lower your chest. And legs if you lifted them. Breathe in, extend arms, lift belly, squeeze up. Breathe out, lift legs. If you want, lift the chest. Breathe in, lift your belly. Breathe out and come down. Pull arms back, breathe in, lift the belly, squeeze up. Breathe out, lift your chest. Lift the legs also if you wish. Breathe in, lift the belly higher. Breathe out and come down. Breathe in, extend the arms, lift belly, squeeze up. Breathe out, lift legs and chest if you wish. Breathe in, lift belly higher. Breathe out, come down. Breathe in, pull arms back. Breathe out, lift chest and legs if you wish. Breathe out, lift belly higher. Breathe out, come down. Breathe in, extend arms, lift belly, squeeze up. Breathe out, lift legs and chest. Breathe in. And breathe out. Well done, guys. So push yourself up. Just come into child's pose. So push your bum all the way back to your heels. Drop your head down through your shoulders. And release the air. So from the air, bring yourself down onto your side. So support your head but make sure you're in one straight line. And pull your knees forward. So from hip to shoulder, you're in one straight line. Top hand can come in front for support. 
From there, squeeze your feet together. So we breathe in, we engage the core, level the hips. We breathe out and we lift our top knee. We breathe in again and we push, making sure that the top hip hasn't rolled back, so push it forward. And then breathe out and bring it back down. Breathe in, engage core. Breathe out, lift the knee. Breathe in, level the hip. And then breathe out and bring the knee down. If you want more, allow the feet to float. Again, squeezing the feet together. So we breathe in, engage the core. We breathe out. We breathe in. And we breathe out. You can take that hand away if you prefer as well. So breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in, engaging the core. Breathe out to lift the top knee and squeeze the feet together. Breathe in, level the hip and squeeze a bit more. And then breathe out, come down. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Extend the legs and lower the head. So one complete line. If you want to roll something underneath, then go ahead and do so. And if you're really uncomfortable, you can come back up like we just did for plan. Make sure your body is in one straight line and that everything is stacked on top of each other. So maybe just have a wiggle around to make sure you do have everything correct. Top hand again, front for support on fingertips to make sure that top shoulder then is of course roll over. Breathe in, engage the core, squeeze the back, and just take that top foot off. So from here, point the toe and flex the foot, point the toe and flex the foot, point the toe and flex. Now turn the heel up. Breathe in and lift, and as you breathe out, squeeze down. Imagine you're going to try and pop a balloon. Take your hand away if you want more. Breathe in, breathe out. So use these muscles to really stabilize. Breathe in and breathe out. 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 So from here, point your toe, hand can come back in front if you wish. And as you breathe out, swing your foot forward with pointed toe, flex the foot and then breathe out. Point, come forward, flex, pull back. Point, and flex. If you want more, take that hand away. So swing it forward. Now watch the hips don't roll as you can and take it a little further back or fall over. Point, swing, flex and pull back. Point, swing forward, flex and pull back. Point, so really engage and watch those hips don't roll. Flex, one more, point and flex. Bring it down. Okay, sit yourself up and then just swing your legs to the right to the other side. So again, come down onto supporter's head, stack your hips and your shoulders and make sure they're in one line and then pull your knees slightly forward. Top hand in front for support if you wish and then bring the feet together. So take a breath in, engage the core, breathe out, lift the top knee. Breathe in, level the hips. Breathe out, squeeze that down. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. If you want more, float the feet. So we breathe in, we breathe out. We breathe in, and we breathe out. So breathe in, engage the core. Breathe out, open. Breathe in, level hips. Breathe out and squeeze. Breathe in, breathe out, 
Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Last one, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Well done. So just extend the legs and extend the arm. Again, you can roll something under if you need to. Stack everything. Hand in front for support. And then lift that top foot off. So point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Turn heel up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Squeeze the ball. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hand can come away. Breathe in. Breathe out. So keep engaging the core muscles. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. So point the toe. You bring the hand back in front of your wish. Swing forward. Flex the foot. And swing back. So again, make sure when it goes back, the hips don't roll. So point the toe, breathe out, flex the foot, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. Keep engaging the core, let the squeeze in the bottom. Breathe out and breathe in. One more. Oops, let's breathe out and let's breathe in. Okay, guys, bring it down. So from here, just turn yourselves over onto your backs. I'm going to turn the other way and then bring your feet inwards. Okay, so our diamond, thumbs together, index fingers together, form a diamond and then spread your fingers out from the earth. Place your diamond thumbs onto your belly button and your index fingers down towards your pelvic area. So when your diamond is nice and flat, you're neutral and then what to do is tuck your pelvis so you can imprint your spine onto your mat and your diamond shape, the tip of your diamond will be upwards. Okay, so let's engage these core muscles. So breathe in and imprint, so push your spine down. From there, bring your right foot onto its tippy toe and then breathe out and pull your knee over your hip. As you breathe in, pull away from your hands and breathe out Place that foot back down. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Now really focus on what's happening underneath your right hand. So relax the leg completely. So breathe in, and put that spine and push down. Breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now extend your left hand, and as you breathe out, extend your leg and your arm. Breathe in and lengthen. So keep pushing and entering into that. Breathe out, pull the knee in and reach to the ceiling. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax the leg and the shoulder. Breathe in. So feel everything underneath your right hand. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now if you want to go back to just a toe tap with the hands down, you can. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, 
and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Last one, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. So bring that foot back down, bring the hand back in. So you form your diamond, breathe in, tuck that pelvis and put in your spine. Breathe out and bring the left knee in. Breathe in, pull away from the hand and then breathe out, the lower down. Again, nothing in the leg, just relax it completely. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, extend right hand. Breathe in, now breathe out and extend out. Breathe in and lengthen, but keep imprinting on your mat. Breathe out, pull both in. Breathe in, pull away from the hand with the core muscles. Breathe in, breathe out, sorry. Breathe in and lengthen, breathe out, pull in. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Relax the leg, breathe in, breathe out. You should feel everything under this left hand really working. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, if you want to go back to toe taps, you can. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So you keep imprinting that spine to your mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and lengthen. Breathe out. Relax those legs. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring it down. Well done. Okay, so let's have a quick stretch. So reach towards the heels, keep your hips apart, take your breath in, tuck that pelvis again in front of the spine, and then as you breathe out, lift your tailbone and roll vertebrae by vertebrae up onto your shoulders. Breathe in and lower the chest. So you have a straight line between your hip and your shoulder. Okay, so from here, breathe out. And just push your hips a little higher. Breathe in, pull your belly button deeper. Hold here for a couple of breaths. Enjoy the stretch. Reach into the heels. And on your next out breath, just roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Tailbone is the last thing to touch. Okay, so set your feet at hip distance again, and then from here, you can do your diamond if you wish, you don't need to. Take a breath in, and again, imprint that spine. Breathe out, lift your head and shoulders away from the mat, and if you need to, support your head with your right hand, and allow your head to rest into your arms, don't just pull on your neck. Okay, if you don't want to, just leave your hand down by your side. We're going to breathe out and swim around towards our leg, and breathe in and come back to centre. Now don't let your hips move, all right? We're working here, this is the area. So we're squeezing it down on one side and stretching out on the other. Okay, so imprint, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. So keep pulling that belly button down. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. 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 Breathe out, and breathe in. Come down. We've got the other side to do. So take a breath in, imprint, breathe out, left head and shoulders, 
This time, if you want the left hand support, if not, just leave it by the side. Breathe out. Breathe in. Engage. Now breathe out and swing to the right. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Keep pulling down. Breathe out. Breathe in. 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 And breathe out. Breathe in. And more down. Well done. Okay, so just put this stretch out your hands to your side. Put your feet together, drop your knees over towards me. And if you want a little more, just turn your head the opposite direction. Just feel that stretch. Bring your head neutral. Breathe in, lift the knees up. Breathe out, drop the knees the other way. And again, if you want more, lift the head and the side, turn it towards me. Feel that stretch. Just relax into it. And then breathe in and come back up to centre. Okay, so from there, place your hands behind and slowly use those to assist you to come up. Feet flat on the floor. So we're going to do roll up, roll downs. If you know the level you're happy with, then please just go ahead and do that. If you're not sure, I'm going to go through all the different stages. Once you get to the stage that suits you, just keep working. Don't keep following if it's too much for you. And then once I've shown all the stages, you will then have the opportunity to do a few more reps at the level that suited you, all right? So just listen for the pointers that I give you to make sure you're not doing it incorrectly, all right? Um, and if you feel that you are having to do what I'm telling you not to do, then just take it back a level because you will get a much more benefit from doing it correctly and you will strengthen your core and your whole area more by doing it properly. So, level one, feet flat on the floor, hands underneath, okay? Take a breath in, engage the core, and then just tuck that pelvis under. As you breathe out, just roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, holding onto the back of your legs for a little bit of assistance. And then you'll come to a point that you really feel this all kicking in. Take a breath in, pull your belly button deep into your spine. And then as you breathe out, just use the hands to help assist you back up as well as your core muscles. Your feet should not have lifted at any point during that. If they did, you've maybe just gone back a little bit too far. If you want a little bit more, you take the hands out in front. We breathe in, and again, we engage the core and we tuck our pelvis. And then we breathe out and we roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, coming to that point that we feel the full engagement of our core. We then take the hands behind, breathe in, and then we breathe out, use the hands, plus the core, to assist you back up. Again, your feet should not have lifted. Level three, the hands come out in front. We breathe in again, we tuck our pelvis, we breathe out and we come down, all the way until we feel that engagement. We breathe in, we pull the belly button deeper, and we keep our hands here this time. We breathe out, and we use solely our core muscles to pull us back up. Again, feet should not have lifted. Level four, you're going to take your legs completely straight. So this time, you've got your legs lifting off the floor, calves, and back to your thighs, hamstrings, back thighs stay on the floor. So we breathe in, our arms are straight again. We breathe out, we tuck that pelvis, and we roll vertebrae by vertebrae down. Now again, we come to the point that we feel that engagement. We breathe in, we pull deep. We breathe out and we come back up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. And stop. Legs not lifting. Your last option. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, come down. So we roll vertebrae by vertebrae. Nothing gets quicker, nothing staggers, nothing gets slower. And we slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, and then hands release over the head. We breathe in, we lift the hands straight up, 
and then we breathe out, tuck the chin and roll in vertebrae, by vertebrae, all the way up, again, same speed through every vertebrae. No staggering, no stuttering, no pulling, and definitely no legs lifting. So you choose the level that suits you guys. Three more, that's three, not that. Three more at the level that suits you best this morning. Okay, so off we go. So breathe in, tuck pelvis, breathe out, roll down, slowly with control. When you get to that point that you feel everything engaged, take a bigger deep breath in, pull the belly button into the spine, and then breathe out and come up with control. Smooth, legs not lifting, feet not lifting if your legs are bent. So, keep it going. Do the level that suits you. Breathing in at the bottom, pull the belly button deep, and then breathing out and rising. So you should go on your last one. Well done. Okay, so from here, one last exercise today. I'll turn this way just so you get better look. Legs out in front, sit bones to pull back. Fast to see him, room handles for those that are used to doing it. If you're not, your two little sit bones, the bony bits of your bum, imagine you're sitting on plasticine. And if I told you to stand up, I want to see two little dimples, not two big splats, okay? So make sure you sit nice and tall and you push the sit bones into your mat. Your broom handle, well that's your arms fully extended, broom handle in the back of your top and you can't let your arms come forward or back. They are stuck to this broom handle. All right, so everyone take a breath in, sit nice and tall, lift those arms, relax your shoulders, push the sit bones deep. Now breathe out, turn to the right, but don't let your arms move, put the broom handle there. Breathe in, sit tall, push sit bones down, Breathe out, come back to the centre. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, relax the legs, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Really engage the core, breathe in, sit bones and core, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, relax the shoulders, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and release down, well done guys, bend those knees in, and let's just have a little stretch. So, cuddle your knees. Pull them in really tight. And then tuck your back away. So just tuck away, tuck the chin down. Feel the stretch through your shoulders and down to your lower back. And loose there. Okay, so from here, extend your legs out. And then take your right leg and cross it over. Take your left arm, don't turn this way. take your left arm around the outside. Now don't pull on your knee, just rest your arm against your knee. Take your right hand behind your body. Take a breath in and sit nice and tall. Now I should breathe that the hand that's on the floor, okay, is the one that we use. This one stays where it is. So breathe out, don't push against your knee, use the hand on the floor and just twist your spine rightwards towards the back of your boot. Now take a breath in again, push those sit bones down like you did, and as you breathe out, use the hand that's on the floor to lever your round, but don't push against this leg, okay? Just let the arm still rest. One more time, breathe in, sit bones down, sit in tall, and then use the hand to twist. 
release and come back to centre. So let's swap it round, all right? So, left one comes over, right hand goes round, left hand goes back. We breathe in, again, we sit nice and tall. We don't push against this crossover leg, we use the hands on the floor. We breathe out and we twist. Now we breathe in, sit nice and tall, sit bones come down. We breathe out and twist further. Breathe in one more time and then breathe out. And we release the air. Bring the knees back in. Hold them tight, part the back once more. Release there, drop your knees towards me and then push yourself up onto your knees. Tuck your toes underneath the back, hands come in towards the knees and you push yourself onto the balls of your feet. Move your hands then in towards your feet, take a breath, lift your belly and tuck your chin, breathe out. Now push those heels down as much as quickly as you can, keep your knees bent if you need to, hands on the floor. Keep that chin tucked in and neck really relaxed. Take a breath in, lift your belly, and then try and straighten your legs a little bit if you can. Breathe out and just try and fold your chest towards your thighs. One more time, breathe in, lift belly, straighten legs more, breathe out and fold your chest even closer to your thighs. Now breathe in this time, bend your knees and lift your belly. Breathe out, release the hands to the floor and unwind, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way up. Your shoulder blades going back into the little pockets and your chin comes to parallel again. We breathe in, we take the arms all the way over the head, we interlace our fingers, we breathe out and we push towards the ceiling. Now breathe in again and lengthen the body even higher. Breathe out, bring the hands down, bring the chin back to parallel, and release. Well done, guys. So, hope you enjoyed that. And Monday, because we're into Christmas jumper day on Monday, uh, Pilates in your pyjamas. If you've got Christmas pyjamas, go for it. And like I said, if you can send a photo up to social media, either to Live Active on Facebook or hashtag we live active. Um, you can do it that way or if you don't like social media at all completely understand then please take a photo on your phone or keep it and then what to do is when we come back to proper classes face to face hopefully not too soon you can show me because I want proof okay so anything Christmassy travel Christmas pajamas if you've got them if not anything Christmassy but tinsel anything okay and that's going to be the theme for the whole week next week and um, let's try and get us into some Christmas spirit Okay, take care, lots of love, and see you next week. Bye for now.